<sighs> yeah. So my vacation was over. I went to work. I mean, the level of depression going back to work. I mean, you know, it, I don't have to tell you this. I, I talked about this a million times. It's the night before you go back to work after vacation. I got to let you know something right now. I need a good solid week to recover from vacation. Guys, when I went to Dominican Republic, for some reason, this is the, the, the land where hangovers don't exist. I can't even explain it. We went duty free. You know how you go to the airport? Oh, duty free. I got three bottles of Jack Daniels and a bottle of uh, Grey Goose. No, I didn't even get Grey Goose. I got Kettle One. Yeah, because for some reason, they, they got to sell you uh, a Grey Goose bottle that's like nine stories tall. I'm like, I'm traveling. It looks like the jaw that they carry, I don't know, uh, liquid nitrogen in. I can't carry this around, guys. I'd love to buy you a Grey Goose, but I, I can't I can't carry around this 50-gallon drum of booze. So I got I got Kettle One. You know? What was that mob show? They, they had some mob TV show on, and uh, some guy did a favor to one of the mobsters, and he's like put a bottle of Kettle One on his car, and I like cringed. I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, guys. The cupboards are bare. It was just like a product product placement in a mob show. I was like, Kettle, what? What's going on here? Can we do a hit on Bobby now for saying that? Guys, anyhow. The level of drinking in the middle I, I got news for you right now. The whole fucking country is drinking. Like, like ridiculous amount of drinking everywhere. You go to the countryside, everybody's drinking. We were in this, in the mountains, okay? I, every Dominican alive, all right, drinks Johnny Walker Black, uh, Johnny Walker Black and Johnny Walker Gold. Okay, like around here on Long Island, it's Johnny Walker, Johnny Walker. You go into the poor, the poor, you know, it's black, black label, black label. You go into the, the poor areas, like up in the farm, the mountains, okay? People drink something called King's Label. Do you understand? It's like, uh, it's like they went to the Johnny Walker factory and they empty all the urinals into a bottle. That's what King's Label is. What would you call it over here? I don't know, what would you compare it to? Uh, what's it? I don't, it's just, it's, it's gotta be the cheapest scotch slash whiskey you could even imagine in your entire life. I don't know what they distill it from. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, the, uh, the, the locker room from the, uh, they take all the drawers and jock straps and they put it in a press from from the uh, Dominican baseball. I don't know, guys. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling here. They make King's Label. I woke up one morning, and when I tell you this is the land of, it's impossible, impossible to get a hangover. I drank an entire bottle of Jack Daniels. It was fantastic, by the way. It was like, I was drinking beer all day. I switched to Jack and Cokes. I'm in a, a, a swimming pool. And then later on with shooting pool. How about that? <laughs> we're shooting billiards. And I was having so much fun. Like I, I'm halfway, three quarters of the way through a bottle of Jack Daniels and we start shooting pool. I don't know how to shoot pool. You could you could play if you could if you're on the same if you have the same aptitude I have shooting pool we could basically sh shoot the same game of pool all night long because I can't get the fucking balls in 
I can't make a shot. I don't know what to tell you. I know it's, what is it, trigonometry? I have no idea. Geometry? I'm horrible at pool. But when I'm three quarters of a bottle of Jack Daniels down, I'm great at talking shit. So I try to psychologically damage my opponent. Do you understand? I tell him how good he is. I say, oh my God, you're making great shots. And I tell, I tell him how bad I am. But then I start making fun of him. Or, or I start... I start creeping in with doubt. I say, oh boy, there's a lot of traffic out here. Because what is the game of pool anyhow? The game of pool, when you play with a person like me, it's a nightmare for you. Because you're hitting all the balls in, all my balls are still out there. So now you have to maneuver around my balls. How what? I, so at the end of the day, it's, it's great when two skilled players play each other. But when a skilled player plays somebody that's not skilled, it's a fucking shit show. And I understood that. And I was I was almost so proud of not being able to make the shots. And I made it an expectation for my opponent to be able to make the shots. And I made it such a... Uh, any the fuck way. Who cares? I, guys, you haven't tuned out yet. Did you know SV Seeker put their 74 foot uh, trawler in the water? Yes, it went in the water. 10 years of watching this goddamn boat go together, it's finally in the water now. How about that? And you're here. Look at watching a, a blabbering idiot. So I always shot some fucking pool. What do you want me to tell you? There's, the wife went, everybody went to sleep, and I'm stuck with this one guy that doesn't even know how to speak English. That's how I knew I was really hammered. And it's finally, it's four o'clock in the morning. I go to bed, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at the, the empty bottle of Jack Daniels as I'm, as I'm stammering up to the bedroom. I'm like, oh boy, I'm going to pay for this one. I go to bed four, four o'clock. I close my eyes in bed. And I start seeing pictures. Great, who's texting me? At this early in the morning. I close my eyes, hammered, and I start seeing. You ever, uh, does this ever happen to you? I start seeing like a kaleidoscope. And it's like all of a sudden, like these like pictures and, and creatures. And stuff like that. And I'm, I'm sitting there and I'm like, I'm sleeping. Not sleeping. I'm watching this. I just have my eyes closed. And I'm like, wow. This is a magnificent show. I'm like, whoa. And like, there's like, like dogs running toward me. But they, they have like evil faces. And there's like, I don't know, like these Dracula things. And like demons. And stuff like this. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Everything is very dark. There's like monsters and claws and teeth. And I'm like, what's, what the fuck is wrong with me? So I start trying to think of like flowers and stuff like that. And like happy things. And, and I, they would appear like they would crack through and it would be like bright colors and flowers. But then it would go back to darkness again. And I'm like, what am I from Transylvania? Like every time I would try to shift it to happy things, it would go back to darkness. And I'm like, man, I'm like, maybe this is, maybe I'm just like fucked up in the head. And I'm like, well, you know, maybe, you know, I am, I, I, I'm German. I have German background. So maybe that's maybe just part of, you know, like, uh, like monsters like Frankenstein and Dracula and stuff like this. And I always loved monsters as I grew up as a kid. So I was like, maybe I'm just a fucking asshole. So I said, let me ride it. I said, I didn't mind the dark stuff. It was like bricks with, with water dripping down them and stone masonry and iron gates. I, 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 I'm basically watching the Castlevania game in my head. And I was like, you know what? I'm fine with this. Stop trying to fight it. And there's monsters coming at me. I'm like, whatever. I fucking went to sleep. I wouldn't call it going to sleep. It was more like passing out at this point. So then... I got to tell you, it's four in the morning, at eight o'clock in the morning, I wake up like this.
I said, what? I said, what? I, I said, this is when I do like the, I do like a, after a heavy night of drinking, I do like a self-diagnostic, almost like RoboCop. You understand? I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, systems online. Yes. I like move the toes. Toes work. Fingers work. I'm, I'm throwing brain synapses now. You understand? I'm, and then I do the, I do the, Every morning I do the head. If I'm in New York and I wake up, number one, my eyes don't open like this. I, I wake up like this. Uh, there's like a goo holding my eyes shut. I'm like, ah, ah, everything hurts. My knees, my back. I'm laying down and my back hurts. What kind of day is this going to be? And then after a heavy night of drinking, I do the I do the one thing that I know is gonna let me know how my next three days is gonna be. I do the head shake, and it's like, zong dong bong. It's like the the bell that you that that from uh, a Christmas Carol, Ebenezer when he wait. It's like bong bong bong, and I'm like ah, ah stop my head movement immediately. Uh, and I just hold still and I sit there and I wish I was dead. I just pray for death, for the angel of death to swoop in with a scythe and just go whoosh, and cut my head off. Over there, I, uh, I'm like, uh, okay, vision's working. Uh, yes, there's uh, uh, audibly, I can understand things I hear. Uh, um, and I do the head shake. I'm like, don't do the head shake. I'm like, do the head shake. I do the head shake, I'm like, huh, huh, huh. I get out of bed, nothing hurts. I'm like, huh, 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 I got away with it. It's like, I got away with it. I'm laughing like, uh, I don't know, like, I, I, I imagine like if you rob the bank and you're driving ar away with a car full of cash and you start laughing. You're like, huh, I got away with it. I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I said, oh my God. And every like everybody else is still sleeping. I'm like, huh, this is impossible. I go, I throw open the sliding glass door. There's like beautiful palm trees. I'm like, Jesus Christ, I got away with it. You got away with it. The next day, I'm looking at this bottle of Kettle One and as soon as I roll into Dominican Republic, I buy a half dozen a 911 energy drinks. Okay? I mean, I've talked about this before. They had this energy drink in Dominican Republic called 911. Okay? I'm in the early 90s. We used to go out to the club. You like pop stack or twos. And, and uh, uh, what was the other thing? Ref fuel. You pop ref fuel and it, like a Fedra. Like anything with a Fedra, you're like, con, con, con. And then you go out to the club and it was like, jump like a monkey, jump, jump, jump like a monkey. And it, like, it, it was a dark time, okay? We would go out dancing and like get all revved up on, on stack or two. Fat burning pills. Remember that was a big rage back then? You take stack or two and like you run around like a maniac. Yeah, I mean, you'd wear a shiny shirt and, and like, uh, this necklace. You had to wear a necklace that looked like, I don't know, beads. Do you remember that time? And everybody had whoop de doo in their hair, and you'd go out to the tunnel. That's right. And then you'd get cornered by transvestites. <sighs> they're, kind, they're kind of pretty, but something's off here. I mean, uh, one of them looks like uh, Patrick Ewing with a wig. That's fine. And uh, I don't know. We got another guy over here that looks like, I, I, I don't know. <sighs> they, they were like enormous women. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It's Sean Bradley with nails. Guys, the fucking cupboards are bare over here. I don't know what to tell you. So I yet I look at this 911 and it's all there. It's like a Fedra, or, and then and then in like the government, like there was so many people dropping dead from having heart attacks off of this stuff. The government banned it all, so you can't get it here in the United States now. Bah. Well, 
it's all in not they took all of it all the whole supply of it from the united states they brought it to the dominican republic and they made an energy drink called 911 that's the basic gist of it so the very next night i start you know drinking beer all day of course and then by late afternoon it's 911 and kettle one into the night and drink an entire bottle of vodka and then wake up the next day like bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I don't know how it happens. An entire bottle of vodka or, or Jack Daniels and beer drinking all day over here will lay me up for a week. Easily. Well, it'd be a three-day endeavor. But a three, three days of pain and then like another three days of like I, getting systems back online. Like actually thinking and like the imagination happening again. Like, you know, intuition comes back very slowly. You understand? The, 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 this whole drinking thing's ridiculous. I gotta tell you right now. Okay? But while we're up in the mountains, I remember I, I woke up at like 8 o'clock in the morning. I went down to the local bodega. I was like, I gotta hide... Even though I didn't feel like I had to hydrate myself, uh, it's 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 muscle memory. I'm like, I should have a hangover, but I don't. But let me treat myself like I do have a hangover. Let me go get a Gatorade. That's the one thing that saved my life in Dominican Republic was purple Gatorade. Yes, because I'm, uh, you know, because I'm, I'm three years old. It was like Pedialyte. I said, I constantly thought I was dehydrated because the temperature was so hot. But there's no such thing as dehydration either. There's no such thing as ailments. There were no ailments. 8, 8.30 in the morning, I'm going, I'm like walking, you know, there's stray dogs following me. I'm like the Pied Piper. I'm walking in my flip-flops like Joe Whitey with my white feet hanging out. Waving, waving to all the Dominicans. Good morning. Good morning. Everybody happy, by the way. Everybody happy. No miserables. Try saying good morning to somebody over here. They throw a bottle at you. Good morning. Good morning. I don't speak Spanish. Okay. No buenos dias. It's all good. It's all English. I'm going to talk to you like I'm talking to anybody else in English. I'm sorry. I don't speak Spanish. And there's a guy, and he's sitting on a stool in the bodega, and he's drinking King's Label out of, like, uh, I don't know. D imagine a bottle like this times 10. It was, like, the biggest bo bum booze bottle I've ever saw in my life. And the guy, and the bottle was down probably halfway. I said, this guy knows how to fucking party. Okay, you know, he, he had yellow eyes, and, I mean... Bags under his eyes that you couldn't uh, fucking carry on an airplane. If I'm going to be honest with you. But I said, look at him. He doesn't have a hangover. That's for sure. This guy, he was a happy guy. I said, hey, nice breakfast. He said, uh, he didn't understand what the fuck I said. Guys, uh, all right, I got a headache already. Uh, Callahan. <laughs> Kidding me, Rita? Oh, oh God! I'm telling you right now, I'm protesting. Like, there's a lot of protesting going on lately, guys. All right, political protests. This type. I'm protesting bending over. I'm not doing that shit anymore. I'm done bending over. Reporting for duty. All right. I mean, hey, listen. Just like that, we're scanning for crimes. So I get back from vacation and uh, I got a day. 
before I go back to work. I gave myself one day. It wasn't enough. And the night, it's always the night before you go back to work, like you can't sleep because your sleep schedule is all messed up and you're thinking to yourself, oh my God, I got to wake up tomorrow, you know, and eat breakfast and make myself a, you know, a tuna sandwich for work. It's like, this is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. Oh God, I'm just thinking about it. It's like you were just partying like nonstop and now it's like back to reality. And this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> this is terrible. And you're trying to prepare your mind for what you got to, you know, you're going to have to go into work and people are going to be, you know, yelling at you like you're three years old and you, people are going to be telling you what to do. And you got to sit there and you got to go, hey, you got to put your ego aside and say, okay, no problem, boss. <laughs> you want to murder everybody. People are coming up to you and saying the dumbest shit on planet Earth. Do you get it? I mean, it's enough. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I always think to myself, it's a good thing I don't know how to tie a noose. You know, that's 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 what's saving me right now. I have no idea how to tie a noose. I'd, I'd screw it up. I've been in flip-flops and shorts for the last 10 days. Now I gotta put on socks and boots and it's boiling out and jeans. Yeah, I understand. I got mosquito bites all over my legs that I can't itch now because I'm in jeans. I They have mosquitoes in Dominican Republic. I don't know where they get these motherfucks. You get bit by mosquitoes and you don't have the pleasure of killing them. They're like, I, I, they're like black ops mosquitoes. They disappear. They sting you and then they disappear. You're like, what? Well, what happened? Ouch! Ouch! What happened? Where is he? Here in New York, we got the laziest fun. They, they sting you. You're like, ah, yeah, and you look and they're sitting there and they're like, <laughs> and you just. You smash them. I, I wipe mosquitoes away. And my wife's like, what are you doing? You you, you, you smash them. I'm like, no, you, she's all, you make a mess out of yourself. You just wipe them. And what happens is it breaks all their legs. I imagine like, can you, if you're a mosquito and you're sitting there and a hand comes to hit you, number one, you don't see that hand coming. It's like, it's like there's clouds in the sky. If you're a mosquito, there's like clouds in the sky, right? I imagine a mosquito like five inches above their head, they don't see anything. And all of a sudden this huge hand comes in and hits them. They're like, holy shit. But what I do is I swipe them. So what it does is it breaks all their legs and their little, their little, uh, like their little, uh, what is it, straw that they're sucking your blood with? How strong can it be? It punctures skin. I imagine that just snaps off. It's like, as they're getting swiped away, and, and he's like, and the mosquito's like, oh fuck, there's my eating tube. Now I'm dead. I'm alive. Brr. He starts flying with, I don't know what I have, four wings. Now there's like two broken ones, one's crumpled. And he's like, brr, brr, fuck. My nose thing is broken. My legs, all my legs are broken, because I don't know who could take a lateral hit like that without getting all their legs broken. Uh, it's either that or you just go smash and then it's bloody mess and disgusting mosquito stuck to my arm that I have to wipe away anyhow. I'm having this argument with my wife. How do I explain that to her? I just put my mosquito in a wheelchair for the rest of its life. Yours you have to clean off your arm. I don't know. What are we talking about? Oh. I go back to work and my manager comes up to me. He's like, how was your vacation? I'm like, ah, you know, too much drinking, too much smoking, too much eating. And I grab my belly and I shake it. And I couldn't believe number one, when I get, when I shook my, I, you know, I shook my belly with two hands like this. Oh my God, I feel it now. And when I let go, 
my belly's still like reverberating. I said, oh my God, Christ, this is out of control. This was another, so that, that was like a new level of depression. So he's like, oh yeah, where'd you go? And I said, uh, you yeah. I was up in Dominican Republic. And he, he says to me, Dominican Republic? I said, yeah. He goes, you didn't tell me you were going there. I said, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize, I didn't realize I had to, uh, uh, write a book report. He goes, you gotta, uh, you gotta quarantine. I said, how what? He goes, you gotta quarantine, you gotta leave. And I'm like, what? I, I, I remember when that shit was going on. I thought that shit was over. To be honest with you, I had no idea. So he's like, yeah, you, you got to leave. You got to go get a COVID test. and Because I got COVID tested leaving Dominican Republic. Yeah, that was a whole nother uh, story altogether. So he goes, you got to take get a COVID test and then you got to quarantine for seven days. And I'm like, oh. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I'm just, I, I'm starting to get high with euphoria, but I can't, I can't, obviously can't show it. So I'm like, oh boy, I'm like, geez, uh, man, that sucks. Uh, all right, I was like, uh, I'll see you. I started like walking backwards. I'll see you in seven days. Uh, buzz the door, please. I get I get outside and I would lie to you. If I told you I didn't dance like Fred Astaire all the way back to my car. I hopped in my car. I started laughing like the Joker. And, I mean, here we are. Seven days off, guys. I mean, what the fuck? I love it. I love quarantine. I don't care. No pay. No pay. I, I don't care. <sighs> all right, guys. We got a hell of a show for you today. All right, here we go. It's massive wood pile inside of a small shed. Here we go, guys. We got a couple of... Package here with a little help from Johnny Blade. This one's coming from uh, Michael from Durham. This is coming from guys, the UK. Durham. I I don't know. By the way, I was watching, you know, speaking of the UK, I was watching Train Spotting the other day. Remember watching Train Spotting in the 90s? That movie holds up. I remember I had started dating this girl and we watched Train Spotting together. And oh my god, what a movie. And I watched it the other day. I started watching it. And uh, cuz for some reason I, I always start watching a movie and can never finish it. And uh what a sensational movie, Jesus Christ, what's going on here? Dear Bithead 1000 and to the greatest video game. I'm talking! For the following counties in New Jersey, Essex, and Passaic, the National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a flood warning for the Passaic River at Little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm surprised there's not. Uh, bon Jovi playing in the background. Here we go. Uh, okay. You're out of here. Uh, to the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. I'll start off by being typically British and apologize for the few, for a few things first. Sorry for the penmanship. The penmanship's not bad. Not often I write letters. And sorry for the late package. I didn't forget. Well, you know, I'm probably late. To, you probably sent it like a month or two ago. 
So I'm probably late to opening it. So why don't we just sit there and have like an apology war? I have sent just a little something just to show my support for the show. It's not much. I watch the show when I need a laugh after a, a shit day at work trying to fix vans for Royal Mail. Oh boy. <laughs> I saw, I applied for that job over here. That's That was one of my great aspirations. I wanted to work on post office vehicles. I wanted to be a post office mechanic. Yeah. I think about like my early 20s, like how lost I was. Like how completely lost. Well, still lost today. Still lost, but I mean, Real, like really lost. I wasted, to be honest with you guys, I wasted from the age of one to the age of 40. I just completely wasted my life. I'm here to tell you right now. Isn't that sad? I know. All right, let's continue with the letter. Um, I stumbled across your channel when I posted, uh, when you posted the shed tour as I am building a workshop myself, and I've been a fan ever since. I enjoy the PS4 stuff, and I'm into modern retro style at the minute. Yeah, I like that too. I'm 27, so oldest console gaming for me is PS1. Anyway, keep up all the good gaming and music rec... Recommendations uh, coming. I am now a fan of Iron Maiden. How, how? You're in the UK? Of course. Keep on ranting and keep the show going. It's on, going on. Did you, keep the show going. It's spot on. All the best, Michael. P.S. You still have a motorbike? I'm as passionate about bikes as you are with your console builds. You know, uh, I re-sparked my, my love of motorcycles in Dominican Republic because that's the, the main form of transportation over there. Yeah, especially in the mountains. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to ride motorcycles while we were up there. Uh, I was actually, you know, riding on the back of a motorcycle. Yes, which is... It's a very complex process to get on a motorcycle with another man. I mean, a where do you grab? And I had to grab because we're going up hills. So I'm grabbing onto his, his side fat, his love handles, do you understand? And I'm like trying not to touch. And he can feel that I'm trying not to touch. So it was like creepy. We had a creepy vibe going. And it was just creepy. And I'm wearing flip flops. And my feet are sliding off the pegs, and my crotch is going right into his asshole. So, yeah, it was very homoerotic. And I thought he thought I was being a, like pervy, but I couldn't keep my feet on the pegs. So I, I kept on sliding into his. I know. And I'm backing off and sliding in and backing off and sliding in. I mean, we, we might as well have been fucking at this point. And that's the other thing, drinking and driving. Everybody's drinking and driving. We were drinking and driving. Everybody's drinking and driving. Do you think I drove back and forth across this countryside, in the country, in this city, where, where it's absolute mayhem, the roads are mayhem, and everybody's drinking? You're allowed to drink and drive. I don't know if you know that. Well, you can get pulled over, but I mean, for the, for the cost of like, I don't know, five American dollars, not even, you're, you're out of it. The cops say, oh, okay, have a great day. This type of thing. Do you know I didn't see one goddamn accident? I saw three accidents on the way home from the airport. Here. Three. I didn't see one accident over there. In all the travels. I said, what the hell is going on here? Uh, it's it's like being in a twilight zone. That's heavy. All right, we got two two, two PS4 games here. 
Wow, here we go. Borderland. I never played Borderland before. It's the the Handsome Collection. Yes. And Aj hmm. Agelos? Agelos? A jealous? I don't know what this is. This looks pretty interesting. Looks like a, almost like a Zelda. What do we got, a RPG? A classic non-linear uh, adventure. Deadly encounters and va a vast kingdom to explore. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. I love it, look at that. I don't know what this is all about, but I love it. I love pixelated graphics. I know, somebody said to me the other day, it's funny, you said you don't have a PS4. What about the PS4 that you built? Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you right now. That clear PS4, it's a wall hanger. Okay, it works. But to be honest with you, if I run it forever, I, it, it'll blow up. If, if I start using it as my daily driver, it'll fill with dust and it, it'll blow up. Okay, hey, newsflash, these clear gaming systems aren't, very, aren't the most reliable. Okay, I'm not gonna start using it every day. It's basically, let's face it, it's a wall hanger at this point. So yes, the PS4 uh, gravely missed that console. Uh, I love it so much. I love it. I love it. What do you want me to tell you right now? What is this thing? What is this, a, a cast iron bat? This thing weighs a ton. Mm. Mm. Jesus Christ. What do we got here? Oh. Oh, baby. Come to Papa. Man. Jeez. Whiz. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh. You get it out of the package. There we go. Oh my Christ. I'm out of breath just from, from opening a package of beer. Here, yes, it's, here we go. Oh, I didn't, I never had this one before. I had the Iron Maiden beer. I, somebody sent me like four Iron Maiden beers. They were great. They were great. Here we go, Trooper, premium British beer. Charge of the Light Brigade. I'm in. Oh, we're going to save this. I tell you what, we're going to save this for the Advices program. Oh, that'll be great. That'll be great. We'll drink that one on the Advices program. What do you, what do you want me to tell you? That's a big one. That's like a bigger beer, too. How many How many ounces we got? How many? Uh, this is a big beer. What, did I don't even tell you? Oh, uh, it's 500 milliliters, whatever that is. That's a... Uh, that's got to be a 16 ouncer, right? Mm. Nice beer. Nice. Whoa, whoa. What the hell is this? Look at this. What are these? It's like a, f a fake cigarette. Look at that, it looks real. Oh, perfect. Oh, perfect, look at this. <laughs> the dummy cigarettes. They look great, they even have cotton in the end. That's probably where the anthrax is. 
Uh, I'm always expecting to get a package with anthrax in it, by the way. I don't know if that's a... Imagine that. What a horror. You open up a package and there's powder in there, and the next thing you know what? You're dead? What the hell is anthrax? <sighs> what a horrible thing. <sighs> Smooth. <laughs> All right. Wow, those are cool. I like that. And... What do we got here? A magazine. Oh, look at this. Retro Gamer Magazine exclusive SNK interview Neo Geo. Wow, great stuff. Great stuff. Oh yeah. Look at look at this under the hood of the Neo Geo. Wow. Oh my god, look at the chips in there. They look like candy bars. Are you kidding me? They, look at how long they are. The limousine, limousine microchips. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Wow, what a great magazine. There we go. There's a controller, huh? There's a real beauty. Yeah, we all know that one, right? Great. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. <laughs> from from Durham, right? We got to go to Durham next time. If we ever get to England, you know, I'm sick and tired of going to Dominican Republic. Can I tell you that right now? I'm done with it. Can we go to my wife? Can we go somewhere else? I want to go to England, guys. I want to go to the pub in England. I want to drink with English people. You understand? Yeah. I want to get a good English hangover. I know they're getting hangovers in England. Don't tell me they aren't. With that weather? That's like hangover weather. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get a brutal hangover in, in England. Yeah, I'm down. Here we go. Here's one. Where's this coming from? I, I, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Wait, I, there's no address? Canyon Road? Oh, Washington. Washington. It, listen, if you live in Washington, you better be hitting those garage sales. Oh, great. Here we go. You got a, you know, you, got, you see the scrap right here? This is what I'm talking about. You have no idea the mess I have to clean up on a daily basis in here. After these packages. What is this? What's going on? Is there a note? Is there a note here? Yes, there is. First things first. Let's not be a, a, a gavones around here. Dear Bedhead. It's been a while, but what do you know? I found some more shit for you. All of this came from my work, and I thought to myself, bet this would, would cheer him up after that s shit stick sent the glitter bomb. Yeah, fuck that dude. <laughs> that glitter bomb. That, that thing came at the wrong time. Hope all is well. Keep your awesome... Keep up your awesome work and stay being a legend in the YouTube community. And until next time, take care. Kiefer. We all know Kiefer. Great friend of the show. Kiefer. Yes. Yes. What, man? What is going on here? Oh, wow, look at this. Jesus Christ. Wow, look at that. The Rolling Stones collection, 25 years of the Rolling Stones? Wow. Oh, guys, uh, let me tell you something right now. After, after going away for, you know, for 10 days of, of nothing but hearing people speak Spanish, and hearing Spanish music, it's like it's like that's all you hear. And seeing certain types of cars and eating certain types of food. I remember when I came home, and I, the first thing I had to do is go to the supermarket because all the bread was bad. We had no milk, this, that, the other. I hop in my car, I turn on the radio, 
And I, during the whole trip, I said, I just want to hear satisfaction. Like Rolling Stone satisfaction. I just want to hear something American. Even though it's British. How about that? <laughs> I just I just wanted to hear something that I listened to at home. You understand? And lately I've been listening to a lot of uh, uh, 1960s like garage music. Oh my God. This is great music. This is like punk rock before punk rock. Punk like good punk rock though. Like all his 1960s are like obscure garage music. I just go to YouTube and I type in 1960s garage music. This is what I want to do. I want to work on a hot rod and listen to this music all day. That's it. And I'm happy. Turning wrenches and listening to 1960s music. I'm done. I'm done. So here we go. I mean, I just wanted to hear satisfaction. So wow. That's not, it's, well, it's great to have all the Rolling Stones. Jesus Christ, what, what a, what a body of work. <sighs> Jesus, where the, where the fuck do you work, guy? Look at this. The Who, 30 years of maximum R&B. Is that what they're calling it? Wow. God damn it. Yeah. It's all it's all the 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 it's it's like all the who, the who, the who's music. You know what I've been watching? This is how you know you watch too much YouTube. I've been watching isolated bass guitar of uh what is his name? Nth whistle? Nth thistle? I don't know the, the bass guitarist's name. What do you call him? Thunderfingers? Okay? Boy, this guy was an amazing bass guitarist. I mean, like, truly amazing. What is it? What? Uh, go watch him play the isolated live version of uh, Won't Be Fooled Again. Jesus Christ. I had no idea there was that much going on in that song. Huh. Sip of coffee to that guy. Sip of coffee. I love how when he dropped dead, they did like a show that night. <laughs> Great, great bandmates. Hey, did you hear? Did you hear the news, mate? Uh, Ent Enthel Whistle passed away. What? What the fuck was his name? Is it on here? I forget his. I don't know. I uh, oh fuck me. Uh, what do they say? Uh, I was a good bloke. Uh, anybody see my guitar tuner? The show's about to start. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody see me guitar picks? <laughs> what? I don't get it. Uh, any? What did Pete Townsend say? What? Anybody see me child porn? Before the show? Well, it wasn't one of them looking at child porn. I know. What are you gonna do? Arrest a guy from the Who? Yeah. Okay. That's the only guy that get can get away with uh, child pornography. What did he say? I'm doing research for, on it. Remember that whole thing? Was it Pete Townsend or the other guy? I don't fucking know. Robert Daltrey? Remember they caught one of them with child porn? And he was like, oh. He's like, I'm doing research. Yeah, I like a research? Oh yeah, really? What's with the box of tissues? You always do research with your pants around your ankles? <laughs> Oh, fucking guys. I don't know what to do with you guys. What do you do with you guys? I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Boy oh boy. Look at this. Guys, do you have any idea? Okay. This is very special. Oh wow. Okay, where do you work that you find this stuff by the way? This this came I, I'm telling you right now, this came out in 92. 91, 92, 1990. God, I remember when this came out because I couldn't afford it. Yes, that's right. When this came out, I wish it had a price tag on it. This was like $60, something like that. I wanted it so bad. What did it have? Two new songs on it, right? It had the entire Led Zeppelin library, but it had two new songs. 
Hey, hey, what can I do? And Travel in the Riverside Blues. Oh my God. Travel in the R Riverside Blues. They're both great songs. Never released, right? Until this. That's right. Oh my God. What are you going to do? It's all Led Zeppelin's music. Well, I, I, I've listened to it all so many times that I don't like Trampled Underfoot. How about that? It's probably the only Led Zeppelin song I don't like, but I do like it. I do like it, but I don't like it. I can't think of many Led Zeppelin songs that I don't care for. Let me think. I'm, I'm systematically going through the library right now, starting from the beginning. Uh, I'm not crazy about Dye Maker either. Oh my god, Gallows Pole, come on, give me a break. I fucking... Led Zeppelin, baby, Led Zeppelin. Four disc set, I remember this set, I would sit there and drool a lot. I would drool uh, about having it. Yeah, because at that time I had all my Led Zeppelin um, uh, on cassette tape. So this came out and it was like, there it is, it's all right there. Even though I was against the box set, I wanted them all on D I wanted them all individual, but this was such a cool it was such a cool set. Two extra songs right there. You buy it. I don't know. You want from me. And here we go. Oh my god, look at this. Jeez. Oh my god, look at this horror. Look at this horror. Sonic Boom Alive 35? What the hell is this all about? What year is this? They, they already look like a mess. That's not Ace Freely, buddy. Listen, if it's not Ace Freely or Vinnie Vincent, I don't want to fucking know about it. Okay? I love the fact that, that Vinnie Vincent was strung out on drugs. Yeah, this is, uh, this is an atrocity. Uh, yeah, this is horrible. Look at this guy. He brought his kid to the Kiss concert. That's like, if I'm a dictator, that's immediate execution. That's right. You, you. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah, you know. I'm a big KISS fan, and I'm not afraid to admit it. That's right. That's ballsy, this day and age. Oh, come on. I, I, you know what I want to do? I want to go to one of these pretentious record guys. Like... Go over their house because I, I I love I you know and they got like Tom Waits uh, you know we'll, we'll listen to t I got Tom Waits and this type of thing and it's Pink Floyd but like it's Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett you know when you want to throw up shine on you crazy diamond it's like okay <clears throat> I can, I can't I Sid Barrett he was such a genius yeah no 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 I'm sorry. You go over to this guy's house, his record collection, like the $10,000 turntable, and you go in there and you go. Hey, you got any Kiss Night Creatures in there? And he goes. You know, and like. Like the Pollyanna All Fruit commercial. Could you please pass the jelly? You're like, yeah, Night Creatures, can you play uh, uh, I Love It Loud? <sighs> you don't have Kiss, uh, uh, let me see, Lick It Up? The Animal, what was that? The No, that was Lick It Up, that was the name of the album. You don't have Kiss Animalized? Can we get a crank it in here? Let me, show you, let me see how that turntable works. <sighs> and it, it, you're like, he's sweating now? I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't stand pretentious people. I can't. I like Kiss. It's a great American band. I'm sorry. Listen to Kiss Alive. And Ace Frehley's guitar playing is some of the, the greatest sounding guitar. Okay, it might not be technically the greatest guitar, but I have solos, Ace Frehley solos in my head that won't go away. They're so catchy. There's not a lot of guitarists that can do that. <laughs> I mean, okay, that doesn't sound too good. Let me see. 
Parasite Baby Parasite Night I mean, god damn it, good stuff. Ace, Ace freely, for Christ's sake. Just listen to Kiss Alive. Listen to that album. It's a beautiful album. Listen, if you've never heard that album before, listen to it five times, all the way through. Five times, that's all, uh, it's all it takes. How many of you like to take a little taste of alcohol? <laughs> <laughs> Cold Gin? Black Diamond? Peter Chris singing? It's, it's all about Ace, you know, listen, Paul Stanley, Gene Simmons, we get it. Gene Simmons doing way too many of these on the bass guitar. He loved doing that live. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's great music. It's great. It's great the fuck music, okay? Kiefer. Wow, buddy. Thank you, Kiefer. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay. Great. We'll clean those up later. Guys. I don't know, what what are we in here? We're an hour and 14 in? Jesus Christ. Do you realize you just tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization? And you better believe that. With the 4K vice! We'll see you next time. There's thunder, there's lightning, and then there's the Advices program on Patreon. You're not there yet? Tremendous body of work. 23 episodes in. That's right. It's my most proudest uh, pe thing we do. That's right. Because it's, it's my genuine way to help people. I'm old now. I'm shot. But I know a thing or two, and I can pass my wisdom on to you. Huh. 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 That's, that's just poetry. That's right. It's ordained by God. It's a, so if you have problems in your life, we all do. But come to me. Email down below. Put advices in the header. We're going to solve all your problems. I'm telling you, we give wonderful advices just like this. And he has no one to turn her over to. Any advice? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm fucking hammered, guy. Transmission mount, motor mounts, it's a bolt-in. You yank a 460 out of some old tow truck somewhere. I mean, you do a little head work to it. You could get... I love hookers. What do you want me to tell you? I'm going bald. Okay, look, look, yes, it's like a, a giant, disgusting, a thinning spot of hair. Guy, you're out of here. You're out of here. Come to me, like, when I'm sober. Like, how about try that? I know, the capillaries in my head are going to explode at this point. Because it's truly wonderful advices, and I love to help people. And people come to me with very, very serious topics. That's right. The dick can't go up? That's serious. But we solve that problem very easily. So easily your head spins. It spins around in circles. I don't know what to tell you guys. Guys, listen, we solve all your problems just like that. Okay, uh, I just wanna say that I, uh, I'm deeply grateful to all the Patreons uh, for the support. And we'll see you guys next time. <laughs>